if a wheel falls off on your RV, not only is your RV going to suffer a lot of damage and you'll be inconvenienced, but a loose wheel on the highway can actually cause fatal accidents. So why would wheels fall off of RVs? Typically, it's because of improper maintenance. And unfortunately, this often happens because RV manufacturers are in the bad habit of using a type of wheel bearing system on their RVs that encourages bad maintenance practices. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what you should not be doing to your wheel bearings and what you should be doing for proper maintenance. Now, keep in mind, everything I'm gonna talk about in this video is only applicable to towable RVs. This does not apply to motorhomes. If you're new here, my name is Jacob. I'm a RV technician, and I've got a bunch of free resources for you on my website, including my four point don't get stranded checklist, which covers four of the most common reasons that I, as a technician, have been called out to help RVers and how you can avoid this happening to your RV. And yes, wheels falling off is one of those four things. So how has the RV industry helped create this problem? The RV industry has decided to almost always put axles that have the easy lube feature onto RVs. If you don't have the easy lube system, you'll just have a standard cap like this right in the middle of the wheel. If it's easy lube, you'll see this cap that has the little rubber plugs. So what easy lube does is they've added a grease fitting right here. And there's a hole drilled all the way through the middle of the spindle that actually comes out right here. When you put grease into this fitting. It comes out in between the grease seal and the bearing. It'll flow through the hub and come out here. Here's the thing. Easy Lube was actually designed for marine applications. It was designed for if you immerse your axles in water to be a convenient way of expelling water from the wheel bearings so you don't have to pull the hubs off and do maintenance more than once a year. The problem is it's so easy to add grease to wheel bearings with the system System, that a lot of people now believe that this is the appropriate way to repack wheel bearings as their annual maintenance. In fact, I had a client once. He told me that when he bought his RV new, the dealer had told him, you should pump no more than 10 pumps of grease into each hub every year. It is actually what resulted in him losing two wheel bearings. In one case, the wheel completely fell off of the RV. If a bearing is going bad, you will never know if you only use the Easy Lube system. This brings me to what you should do. The bearings need to be inspected every year. These bearings have to come off in order to inspect them. Bearings are two parts. There's the roller bearings and then this cone that it rotates in. In order to properly service your wheel bearings, you have to look at this surface of the bearing to make sure that we don't have a bad wheel bearing. But this surface is inside of this drum. When you use Easy Lube, you cannot inspect this surface. Even on boat trailers, they still recommend that you remove this whole hub assembly to inspect your bearings every year. On RVs, because you're not immersing the axle underwater, there's no need to use this. All you need to do is inspect the bearings every year and repack them with fresh grease. When you reassemble it, you know you have good bearings and you have enough grease to get through until your next annual maintenance. There's never a scenario where you actually have to use the Easy Lube system on RVs unless you're immersing your RV axles in water, which you probably shouldn't be doing. Now, if all of this wheel bearing maintenance sounds like a lot of work or a lot of headache, there is a solution, a maintenance free type of bearing that I'm going to talk about in just a minute. Repacking wheel bearings is a dirty, nasty, hard job, but not all preventive maintenance on RVs are like that. I would recommend checking out my tool-free RV maintenance course. I cover 15 different tips in there that will save you up to $50,000 in repair costs. Not only that, 40% of these, you don't have to do anything. It's just how you use your RV that's the difference between breaking or not breaking it. And speaking of not breaking your RV, if you're the kind of person who struggles with doing a lot of preventive maintenance and you want to avoid wheel bearing failure, this is where Dexter's Never Lube bearing will actually benefit you a lot. Instead of two separate bearings with all these loose pieces that come apart, there is one bearing cartridge. This whole bearing cartridge, the grease seals are built into it and there's no way to add grease to it. 
they warrant this bearing pack for 100,000 miles. The only annual maintenance you need to do on this is to raise the wheel off the ground and check to see if the bearing moves too much. The downside is they're not compatible with a standard axle or a standard drum. It's an all new axle, spindle, drum, brakes, and bearing assembly in order to get Dexter's Never Lube set up. The other downside is these bearings are three or four bucks each. This bearing assembly is about a hundred dollars for the smallest one. The bigger ones can be more dollars. So overall, the cost of Dexter's Never Lube bearings system is way higher, like thousands of dollars more to have that upgrade on your RV. Very few RVs come with this from the factory, but I definitely recommend it if you want a more reliable, lower maintenance axle system. Hashtag not sponsored by Dexter. Speaking of dumb things that the RV industry does that cost people a lot of money, if you have an RV, you should check the plumbing because not all RVs are plumbed in such a way that doesn't leak. To watch my video explanation of this plumbing problem that's plaguing the RV industry, click here. Or if you want to watch more of my videos about dirty secrets of the RV industry, click here.